This is the day in life of a Japanese Panko factory owner. This is Sho, 43 years old, living in Tokyo. He wakes up earlier than most Japanese to start his work day. He lives with his wife and two daughters in his two-story house, but sleeps in a separate bedroom so not to wake them up in the morning. Sho and his wife both work full-time, so he shares the house chores like doing the dishes. Damn, you have a lot of records. How many do you have? Which one is your favorite? Wow, lyrics are screen pitted on the fabric. He says this DIY spirit is the same spirit he tries to capture when creating his panko. Do you always eat bread in the morning? <laughs> oh, he's working already! Being a father and a business owner himself, it's important for him to wake up early to maximize his day, reading, stretching, and organizing his daily tasks. Interesting, his house has an attic. Looks like he's repairing rain boots for his daughter. Joe's office is only a 10 minute walk from his house, pretty rare in Japan. Every morning on his commute, he stops by the Inari Shrine. This particular one is called Boka Inari, which is believed to protect its visitors from fires. Quite important for someone who runs his own factory. Good morning everyone, I'm back with another day in the life. This one I'm super excited for because we're going into a Japanese factory. Show should be coming around the corner just now. Let's see how his morning is. Good morning! Did you sleep? Sho is a third generation owner of Nakaya Panko Factory, a family run business started in 1948 by his grandfather. It's the only truly made in Tokyo Panko Factory, baking their own bread to create a flaky breadcrumb commonly used as a crunchy coating in fried Japanese food. Their panko is so highly acclaimed, it's used by 60% of the tonkatsu restaurants listed in Japan's Michelin Guide, as well as chains like Gyutan Negishi and even mom and pop stores. Many in the industry believe the panko alone will make the restaurant popular. <laughs> so right after he arrives, he starts to organize today's orders since clients place their orders overnight in many different ways online, phone call messages, emails, line messenger, SMS, and even fax. It's amazing how flexible he is with his customers and shows how committed he is to customer service. <laughs> Did you originally want to inherit the business? <laughs> He would even sit in the truck with his dad during deliveries. The Panko factory was such a large part of his life. When he was a kid, he drew a layout of it, which still hangs in the office today. And that's his brother. He's the Kojocho, aka factory manager. After he finalizes today's orders, he assigns delivery drivers. Drivers locate the products on the shelves and refrigerators and load their trucks accordingly. This machine prints out the Dempio, in English, an itemized sales slip, which is given to customers at the time of delivery. In Japan, many businesses are still paper-based, so this form of receipt is absolutely necessary. Now, Sho prepares cash for delivery. Even these days, many of his clients still prefer to pay in cash, so all of his delivery drivers must carry enough to make change. Wow, that looks so old! Are you still using this? <laughs> Ah, a common, a Japanese family crest passed down from his ancestors. Now, the morning workers are lining up to stamp their time cards, a very common practice in traditional Japanese companies. 
While they're doing that, Sho works on organizing stock in the factory. As the owner, it's important for him to be involved in all aspects of the business, large or small. He even makes time to clean toilets, despite daily cleanings by staff. Some Japanese believe that the act of cleansing toilet also cleanses one's malevolence, so you'll find many successful business owners participating in this activity. What did you do before becoming a Panko factory owner? Now, Sho goes back to his office task, replying to emails and texts, as well as other administrative work. So it looks like Sho has a little bit more office work to do, so while he's doing that, let's take advantage of this time and explore this place. So let's go up to the second floor and let me show you where all the magic happens. But in order to do that, I'm gonna need to change, so let's do that right now. Alright, good to go. Let's go do this. Now that I'm all suited up, let me show you how the bread making process begins. 150 years ago from the Meiji period, Japanese used sliced bread to make panko, a Japanese word, pan meaning bread and ko meaning powder. Many panko producers use commercially made bread, but Nakaya panko craft their own bread at their factory, creating 50 different types of panko every year with their own unique textures and flavors. First step is to make the dough. The workers mix water, yeast, and flour, then add salt and sugar, and then knead the mixture. After that, they add oil and knead it again. Interestingly, depending on the weather that day, the workers adjust how long the dough is fermented, as well as the amount of yeast added in order to produce an identical product. Also, since flour producers update their harvest each year, the factory needs to readjust their ingredients and process each time. It's very much an art of its own to craft a consistent and high quality panko each and every day. This machine receives a kneaded dough and separates it into smaller clumps. And then the dough rests here for about 15 to 20 minutes. After it cycles through, it then drops down this chute to be flattened. Finally, the dough is rolled and placed into metal pans by hand. Now, the dough needs to sit in a fermentation room, which is set to 90% humidity. I guess my camera is not going in there. After this, the baking process begins. How long does it take to bake this bread? The factory produces 1800 loaves of bread per day. And the loaves vary in texture and shape depending on the end product. For this particular cycle, before the bread gets shredded into small pieces of panko, the workers must remove the crust by using an automatic slicer. The bread itself doesn't come out of the oven in perfect form, so usually, there will be crusted sections like this, so workers remove these spots by hand. Now that all the crust has been removed, the bread is processed through the specialized machine. It shreds the bread into small pieces which are passed through these metal nets. The holes in the nets vary in size, which ultimately determines the size of the panko. Apparently, they use about 1.3 tons of flour to make 800 kilograms or about 1,760 pounds of panko each day. So they not only sell panko here, but they also provide an assortment of ingredients so that when their customers come, they can buy panko as well as cooking ingredients. Kind of like a one-stop shop. Pretty convenient. Just over there, it looks like they have some deliveries. Let's go check it out. The factory ensures that the crust doesn't go to waste and donates it to be used as food to raise pigs and chicken. Oh, they're having chode, a typical Japanese meeting held every morning before work starts. In this meeting, the factory staff review tasks for the day as well as any issues that need to be addressed. Now, Sho goes around the factory floor to perform a quality inspection. It's important for him to talk directly with the workers to get feedback on the condition of the bread. Sho, can I make panko today? Yo. So check it out, y'all. They actually let me make my own panko. So you gotta break it up just like this. That's awesome. Wow, I made the perfect panko. What's that? This 
So what's next? これから補助見学の人たちが来ます。Do you have a visit every day? 補助見学は毎日はないけど、見たいっていう人が来れば。They even have students visit once a year. Today, chefs from an Italian restaurant, Nock, are visiting to learn about Sho's Panko. Oh, they brought Temiyage, a gift to say thank you. In Japanese business culture, it's customary to give such a gift when someone is doing something for you. That's one of his latest creations. Godspeed you, Black Panko! During the factory visit, Sho's brother details how the panko is produced, explains the different types, as well as shares tips on how to use it during cooking. Now it's time for the tasting. What is your favorite food? I like the most? 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 Are you going somewhere? I'm going to go to the house. Do you always have to eat lunch in the truck? Panko is a food that you don't eat just itself, but it's combined with other ingredients to produce an end product like katsu and fried fish. So, Sho works diligently to understand his customers' needs in order to produce the highest quality product possible. To do this, it's critical for him to often meet with customers to see how his panko is being served. The first stop is in the high end area of Nishi Azabu. だけじゃなくてうなぎとか柿とか2日間しか取れないっていうそのプレミア感。The next stop is a wood-fired oven wagyu steak restaurant, Forno in Ishizawa. What are you doing now? これから打ち込みクスを使ってメンチカツの衣付けをやります。このパンコっていうのがよく見るとこれ形状が違うんですね。ここは薄いのに。Not only does he deliver orders, but he also provides private instructions at the customer's request. He knows his panko better than anyone, so he's able to share detailed preparation methods to chefs from high-end restaurants to mom-and-pop tonkatsu shops in order to bring out the full potential of his panko's taste and texture. During the instruction, they use his uchiko mix, which is a blended powder to coat food before dipping it into the egg, as well as special techniques on how to produce a crispier and ultra-textured menchi crust. Wow, that looks so crispy! You can even see that the panko with added technique produces a unique spiky stalagmite like crust. Now back at the office, he needs to refocus on sales. Wow, it seems like he missed many calls while he was out. After finishing his sales task, he has a strategy meeting with his brother about new business opportunities. Apparently, they started an antimicrobial and antivirus coding service for restaurants as well. <laughs> Yay! Finally finished! Oh, is it for the dust? <laughs> Ah, so cute. His girl sure missed daddy. He usually can't make it home on time to have dinner with his family, so he has dinner alone. But that karage his wife made sure looks good though, and it looks like his girls love to share in daddy's meal. Bull? 
So after dinner, Sho will probably go and hang out with his family, take a bath, play with his daughters, and probably then just go to sleep at 11.30. So that's pretty much the day in the life of a Japanese Panko factory owner. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, day in the life videos, hit that subscribe button and the bell button. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.